Are you sure there are more with ugly in my, my videos? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I thought something funny to you. I thought that everyone releases these videos of girlfriend does my this, girlfriend does my that, girlfriend does me. So why not have a girlfriend does my beard video? I haven't seen one of those and I think that would be pretty fun to watch, right? Yes. Are you gonna do my beard? Yes. She's gonna do my beard. The plan of today is gonna be that cat cuts my hair, <laughs> cat shapes my hair, and cat does something with my beard. Since she is the one that is most attached to the beard, I'll give her free hands and I trust her. Whatever she wants to see happen here today, that's what's gonna happen. And let's say, worst case scenario, my beard burns up. I'm not gonna set it on fire. Oh, we never, we never know. Worst case scenario, my beard explodes. At least beard grows back. Head does not go. <laughs> I'm not sure about explosive beards, so if they go back, but we'll see. You can't really predict the future. So today's video is made together with a company called Mix My Beard Oil. It is a company that makes their own handmade oils in Sweden. The special thing about this company though is a concept that I found pretty interesting and the reason why I looked them up is that you can pick and make your own beard oil. They have a bunch of different smells and ingredients so to speak that you can put in a beard oil. Most people won't have the best nose to know what smells goes together with what really. I sure don't, I think. Kat and I have made our own beard oils. Kat made one and I made one. The thing that I found so fun with this side is that it's personal. So even though it might not be the best smell combination in the world, with smells that go hand in hand, it's still gonna be personal. This is a cool way to give someone a gift. It's something fun and it's something personal because that's what gifts should be. What Sonny didn't realize is that these different ingredients actually serve a purpose. Some are for dry skin, some are for dry beards, some are for oily beards, some are for making your beard thicker, etc. But what if I want a smell that doesn't go with my face? Yeah, then you need to make that conscious choice. Yeah, I did do that. Yeah, okay. Unconsciously. Let's get to smelling, guys. We have not yet smelled these things. How do we know this is yours? Because it has a bow on it. That doesn't mean cat. Bow doesn't mean cat. Maybe the bow is for me. So my beard oil was something called Dusty. Mine too. We both had Dusty as a base oil, I think. That's for dry skin. Okay, do we, do, should we Google this? <laughs> I think you should just insert the words in the screen here. I'll say the Swedish word and I'll insert the English word for it later. Mine also contains Amyristra. Mine too. Mine also contains Lavandin Grosso. And finally it contains vanilla. I had a Dusty for the base. Amyristra for the basilica. That's not what it's called. Basil. Basil. Basil? Oh, so basic. <laughs> and petite grain and vanilla. So we chose these without knowing what the other one would choose. Yeah, we both chose on our own and not telling each other what we chose. Even though it ended up that we picked three of the same things in both of ours. But there's still some things that differ them. So we'll see if we can smell the difference. I wanted like a wooden, earthy, spicy smell. Spicy smell. So the links to this company will be down below and you can go check them out and maybe buy a present for someone because this is a great gift. But now, it's time for the moment that we all have been waiting for. Well, the moment you're waiting for is me doing your beard, so we should kind of speak so well, even more. Yeah, well, this is part one of everything that you've been waiting for before Cap starts my beard. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Nice little black bottle with gold-ish text. It's time to smell. We're waiting. I think mine smell smells quite woody, like the woods, with the hint of vanilla. So like all the stuff that I put in there, I think I can detect them all. It smells quite good. I smell pine tree, like a Christmas tree, and vanilla. I think this smelled really good. Let's see if we can detect the basil in mine. Let's see if we can find a difference in cats. They also have a best before date. Everything that goes on your face has an expiration date. Always good to remember. Well, yours are a lot stronger. Yeah. A lot stronger. I think it still smells... If you would smell like this, that would be fine with me. Is, the, is that the basil that has such a strong smell? There was also one other that I had in. The... Tit something. <laughs> the tit. 
petit grain? <laughs> but isn't that yes. like, isn't that a grain? Yeah, probably. It smells a little bit licorice. I think, I, I think it's the basil that's pretty strong. Mm, still pretty good. It's, it's, it's okay. I would like to crown me the winner. Yeah. I think mine were more leveled. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Putting in my beard. That's not how you do oh my god. I'm sure oh. this oil can be used for women too that don't have beards. Yeah, women too, but and men beard, I think it's meant for beards. Yeah, but it goes on your skin too. Oil is always good for your skin. Oh, well, okay. Well, this battle of the beard scents. How are we going to tell them apart? Well, I guess we smell them, but still. Oh, here! It says what's on in them. That's nice. Yeah. There's a little ingredient list on the bottom. No, it's kind of too small. Yeah, mine is okay. It's not bad. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I won because I won. That's just why. I, I won because I won. So. Okay, let's get to fixing. It's time for Girlfriend Does My Beard. Woo! <laughs> Very nice. Welcome to Cat Salon. Yeah, how's Cat Salon doing? Good. Good? Yeah. Many customers? Yes. Mm hmm. Start off with some massage. Massage? Yeah. It's quite inappropriate. I what would you like today, sir? It's up to you. Um, Are you gonna show the tools at your disposal? I have this. Bzz, bzz. Yeah, one bzz, bzz. One brush, one comb, bunch of different heads. Scissors, some wax stuff. What kind of wax is that? And what is the other? Beard balm. Okay. But first we're gonna do the hair. You don't have to see the hair. You've seen it before. It's not interesting. This is now, and then you'll see when it's done. Does the beard start above the ears, cat? <laughs> Is this a question? <laughs> Welcome to the Beards Above the Ears Club. <laughs> we done? I think so. What we're going for today is short beard, but sharp. The shaving machine I have is not so good, but we'll hope cat can manage. I would need a new one. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't do I don't know how these work. Well, you do whatever you want. I have no idea how this works. Mm. Take this out again. Okay, we start okay. by... No, no distance. I'm fixing this line under here. I don't even know, is it supposed to be a straight line? Oh, well, that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the girlfriend does my beard. Okay, but I don't want to ruin it. Well, you might. You don't have to do it so slow. <laughs> I need to see what I'm doing here. We got some pube looking stuff down there we can get rid of. This is not gonna be clean. It's, it's not gonna, gonna be dirty. It's not gonna be sharp edges or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you think. I don't think anything. I do not expect much here. I came into this with low expectations. I don't need this though, it's just slipping off. It's not like it's my salon or anything. Oh, I'm allowed to be naked in your salon. Oh, rough. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what the hell do you do with all this? Where do you even start? Well, maybe someone should have watched a video to prepare. That would have been cheating. That's like you watching a makeup video before doing my makeup. Yeah, do you think it would have been, <laughs> been better? I don't think it would have changed that thing. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. I guess I should just go in with the scissors. <laughs> You're going in with the scissors now? Is this how you were gonna get it short? <laughs> <laughs> we're going for a short and sharp. This like small, <laughs> these small micro cuts is what's gonna make it short and sharp. <laughs> After it's been growing for like three months, <laughs> we're gonna make it short and sharp. <laughs> I'm no, doing it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not criticizing. I'm just like. I'm not just saying what you told me. I don't know how to cut 
beards. Why did you ever agree to this? And why did you ask me to do this? Oh my god. <laughs> You're not even touching anything. I am. You're just cutting air at the moment. Okay, fine, I'll do more. <laughs> Like, do you want to comb this up or do you want to comb it down? How do you style a beard? Can't reveal that to you. Put that tongue back <laughs> in the lungs. <lungs. laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty good. You're very fluffy up here. <laughs> You're freehanding it now, huh? Yeah, I'm getting Damn. confident. How's your ice sculpture doing? <laughs> oh, You're punching the face? Okay, let's see what we've got. I could add that the mustache was trimmed maybe two weeks ago. Okay, so beard balm or oil? What's the difference when you use You're not gonna touch the mustache at all? No, I'm okay. gonna style it. Okay, you can style it. What do you use first? Oil, balm? That's not for me to tell. You didn't give me any, any tips where it comes to makeup. Two drops? I'm not gonna answer. You're the stylist here. You need to feel how many drops you are comfortable with. Three drops, I know. Three drops. Mine or yours? Yours. All up in the skin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so nice. Mm -hmm. All these sounds are a little bit scary. <laughs> yeah. I guess Halloween is around the corner. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're a bit creepy. Mm -hmm. I don't think this would be go so well in a barbershop. Well, it's my unique selling point. Oh, I guess. It's unique? <laughs> yes, and it's a selling point. <laughs> It's a selling point and it's new, that's true. Two true things. <laughs> what, are those, what are those little pats? <laughs> I need to shape it. <laughs> it's also unique, Shut up. Hey, I'm sorry. Who am I to question your ways? <laughs> Thumbnail! <laughs> Scissoring my face? Yes. Bell. Now mustache. Too bad we can't see your face now. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> <laughs> and when you drag like the mustache, you also drag the lip a little bit so that then you <laughs> then you know, Looks like you have some plastic, like a facelift or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Don't question. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Of course, I must not question. Okay, and there we have it. New look on Sunny. We're all done? I think so, yes. Okay, well, guys, that was Girlfriend Does My Beard. How do you think the cat performed? How do you think? Look at this profile. Do you have any positive feedback or maybe even negative feedback for her? What did she do well? What did she do less good? Would you like to have your beard styled by cat? $500. You can also say what you thought of this tag or this kind of video. If you have a beard, a YouTube channel and a partner, you can also do it. <laughs> My own review of this work, she was going at first for sharp edges and short beard. <laughs> oh, I feel like those sharp edges I are... wasn't allowed to use a razor, I'm not supposed to use sharp edges. Usually you cut a little bit shorter inside here underneath and you let the outer part be a little bit longer so it creates a slide down. I'm not saying you did it bad, I'm just explaining how the base is. 
work. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, until next time, I hope you had a sunny fucking day.